Good happy Thursday evening everyone. I'm Riley King. Welcome to this evening news update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started right now. First step, mandates for vaccination or testing at large companies will take effect on January 4th. Take a listen to this video. Fleet Cards USA, this is Barb. Hey, Barb, this is Vinny. I got a construction company with 15 vehicles. That's why you need fuel cards. You can track your expenses with some great analytics. Plus, the reporting could save you even more. Well, sounds like fuel cards really got my back. Fleet Cards USA. Folks, vaccination requirements work, and there's nothing new about them. They've been around for decades. We've been living with these requirements throughout our lives. Students, healthcare professionals, our troops have been required to see vaccination for everything from polio to measles to mumps to rubella. And the reason most people in America don't worry about polio, measles, mumps, rubella is because they've been vaccinated. We have to beat this thing. So while I didn't race uh, to do it right away, that's why I've had to move toward requirements that everyone get vaccinated where I had the authority to do that. That wasn't my first instinct. My administration is now requiring federal workers to be vaccinated. We've also required federal contractors to be vaccinated. If you have a contract with the federal government working for the federal government, you have to be vaccinated. We're requiring active duty military to be vaccinated. We're making sure healthcare workers are vaccinated because if you seek care at a healthcare facility, you should have the certainty that the people providing that care are protected from COVID and cannot spread it to you. So today, I'm calling on more employers to act. My message is require your employees to get vaccinated. With vaccinations, we're going to beat this pandemic finally. Without them, we face endless months of chaos in our hospitals, damage to our economy, and anxiety in our schools, and empty restaurants, and much less commerce. Look, I know the vaccination requirements are a tough medicine. I'm popular with some politics for others, but they're life-saving. They're game-changing for our country. Okay, there you go on that video in that report. Pediatric COVID-19 vaccine is safe and effective, New Hampshire epidemiologist says. Dr. Benjamin outlines the risk for young children who contract COVID-19. Pfizer vaccine for children ages 5 to 11 has been granted emergency use authorization in New Hampshire. State epidemiologist Dr. Benjamin Chan said the shots are highly effective for this age group and encourage parents to get their children vaccinated. Three New Hampshire adults indicated on Fennelly charges after children were moved from unlivable apartment conditions. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Three people have now been indicted on felony charges after police say they were found living in deplorable conditions with five young kids. When officers went to the apartment on Spruce Street in September, they say they found trash covering the floor and feces and moldy food by the children's beds. Their parents, Eddie King and Alicia Washak, along with their grandmother, Lori Harmon, were indicted on multiple charges, including second degree assault for allegedly neglecting two of the children. King is also facing a first degree assault charge for allegedly shooting one of the kids in the chest with a pellet gun. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Man accused of sexually assaulting St. Paul's student found not guilty. Benjamin Baker has been accused of assaulting the teen in 1970s. Jurors returned a not guilty verdict this week for a former St. Paul's student accused of sexually assaulting another student. 
Benjamin Baker had been accused of assaulting the student in the 1970s. In 2019, he was arrested in Virginia in connection with the case. At the trial, defense attorney focused on the burden of proof. The state has to prove each and every part of the charges they brought beyond all reasonable doubt. And when you take that evidence and that testimony, you try and fit it in here, it will not fit, the list said. This week's trial was the second one in connection with the case. The first one ended with a huge juror after jurors were unable to reach unanimous verdicts on four counts of felonious sexual assault. Fair Maps Coalition says GOP congressional plan would more sharply divide districts along partisan lines. New Hampshire House Republicans propose congressional district map for the next decade more sharply divided the two districts on partisan bias than the districts that have been in place for the past 10 years, according to an analyst by Fair Maps Coalition. And tomorrow on WMUR News 9, Daybreak Local Doctor answers your questions. You can submit questions to the local doctor. To ask your questions, email them to storyideas at wmur.com or comment on a Facebook post. And the questions will be COVID-19 vaccine for kids. And that does it for this evening edition of the evening news update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Thank you for listening and tuning in. Have a great rest of your evening. Good night and goodbye, everyone.